Well, hi there. Welcome to Blessings on the Beach. It is July 14th. So glad that you're joining me. Sharon Taylor and I serve at St. Peter Lutheran Church in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. That's Southwest Florida, and we are right on the Gulf of Mexico. So there's so much going on in the world and um, so many places that we know that we need healing and that we need reconciliation. We need to sit down at the table together and learn how to listen to one another's stories. I've just been thinking about that a lot of how we can stop talking for a little bit and You know, even with social media, sometimes I just have to take a little break from all the scrolling because there's so much coming at me that, first of all, I'm not able to digest it all. And secondly, especially with like Facebook formats, I just always feel pushed and compelled to have to respond and say something. And I remember someone who wisely said when they didn't respond right of way and people pushed them on that, said, um, I like to know what I'm saying before I respond. And so I think that we've lost that sense of being able to just sit with things and wrestle with things and not feel that we have to have some little quote or something that's witty or profound to say. Sometimes there are no words. Sometimes things are so difficult that we just have to sit with it and realize and remember that God promised that the Holy Spirit prays for us in groans too deep for words. Like when there are times when we can't even put into words our yearning, um, that the Spirit is there. And so if we're trying always to fill that space, fill that silence, are we even able to connect with God? Or are we our own gods? You know, everything that comes out of our mouth, is it from our psyche? Or, you know, is it from what other people tell us? Or are we actually trying to open ourselves up to the wisdom of God? And so I start with a prayer this morning. Challenger of our lives, you call us from places we call home to lead us more deeply into the world you love. With your gentle healing touch, you redeem the broken places of our lives, and you heal the wounded places of the earth. Inspire our worship here this morning so that we may receive liberation in your word and be filled to overflowing, to share your reconciling reconciling love throughout the earth. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And a few verses from Scripture, from Colossians 3. Bear with each other. Forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And Luke 6. Do not judge. You will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. In Ephesians 4, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ forgave you. So may this day be a way and a chance for you to take some silent time, to take some moments of deep breaths, to think about listening more than speaking today. And that means listening more to God, Um, listening more to your own deep inner self, not, you know, ego self, but that soul, listening to your soul and what your soul needs. And listening to others, listening to other people's stories, and listening without agenda. You know, too often we're listening, and we're only half listening because we're already formulating what we want to say, or we're already formulating why we don't agree with what that person is talking about, or the advice we have to fix the situation. But think about today, listening without agenda not judging, not fixing, not feeling like you're in control of things, 
just listening and being with another person, being with your own soul, and sitting and being with God. May God's presence be a peace to you today. And I hope that you join me again soon. Thanks so much for being with me.